Howdy everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Brick Travi, and today we're taking a look at set number 43232 at 466 pieces, Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight Over London. Now this set came with three minifigures, which is Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and Wendy. And as a part of the Disney 100th anniversary sets they did last year. Now this set came out in sometime late summer of 2023. Um, I was on the fence about purchasing this set until right here recently because I really already had the minifigures for this set except for Wendy, and I just kind of finally decided that I really just had to have Wendy. I think this set retails for $60. I don't exactly remember. Let's take a look at the back side of this box here. Um, we get a couple of screenshots from the movie of uh, where they go around Big Ben, and then we get a Dimensions. Uh, for this particular set, it's eight and a half inches tall by five and a half inches wide, which is a very small kind of display set. Um, the box art looks very well. It does have that silver lining for the, like they did for the everything that was the Disney 100. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get this thing built and uh, give our final thoughts on it. So see you in a minute. And here we have the uh, finished product of Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight. This is a very simple build. It did, took me less than an hour to build. Um, I really enjoyed it. I do like the kind of uh, pale blue and dark blue colors that they did with this. Uh, as you can see here, there are some clear uh, translucent pieces here that uh, allow the figures to look like they are flying. Um, of course, we have uh, Tinkerbell up here. And these are the new wings for Tinkerbell. Um, the older ones look a smidge different, so they look all right. Um, and of course, Peter Pan is the same, and then Wendy is completely new. Uh, the figures look great, the set looks real good. Um, we can turn around to the back side here. There's not much on the back, it's very bland. You just have these are just to support to keep this from breaking. My only issue with this set is this Disney 100 logo right here. Um, I wish that would have said Peter Pan, or here we go, like a quote from the movie or something of that nature. Um, I can't show it right now, <laughs> but uh, the clock tower as well as other pieces in this set are a glow in the dark. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um, you know, the UV light will charge it. And of course, you know, when you turn the lights out, these pieces will glow. I thought that was really cool. Um, it's a little cool little feature so that, you know, in the dark, this uh, big bin is illuminated. Um, something else that's just cool, I can kind of filter this up so you guys can see that it goes from like real mini, like of London to like mid-scale London to full-size London. So this is actually Wendy and hit her brother's home. And then over here we have the doghouse. And if you look real close, I can get it real close there, you can see that there's Nana, the little dog there. So that's a that's an interesting little addition to this set. So this set for me gets a good six out of 10. It's a fun little build, it's a little pricey. Um, but overall, if you're a diehard fan of Peter Pan and enjoy the, uh, the movie, then this is a great set for you. Um, if you don't have Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, this is kind of a cheap way to get them. I do believe the Disney birthday train has both of them, and it's even cheaper. I think at $40, and this one's 60 but you get Wendy. So this is the only way you can get Wendy. So um, I would say that's the only perk to buying this set if you're getting it for figures is because Wendy is included. Um, if you guys agree, give me a comment down below. If not, comment why you think this set's worth it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.